you know, I think women's wrestling kind of just got bigger lately in the past few years. I mean, would you agree with that? I can... 10,000% agree and it's because of Total Divas. I can tell you that right now. It's because <laughs> it's it's because of Lita and Trish and those women, that's who inspired the girls that watched wrestling and then Total Divas inspired a huge amount of new people to watch wrestling and and that's a good thing with like I think back in the day, you know, just maybe even a handful of years ago, there wasn't as much women's wrestling and now that there is, there's only there's not as many wrestlers, so there's not as much competition. Am I correct on that? So, like, you get – it's a better opportunity for you. Well, kind of. It's it's this weird thing where there is – because there is more women from, like, different backgrounds coming in that weren't necessarily wrestling fans. I think there's more people on the field right now. But I think there's more of a demand for good women's wrestling now, too. And um, so I think people actually care about that more than just, oh, we have to have a women's match on the card and we don't care who it is or how good they are. And I think I got really lucky coming into the business when I did for multiple reasons for women's wrestling being taken more seriously and just for wrestling being a bigger, more popular thing. Yeah. And well, there's, <clears throat> there's a ton of landing spots for women right now too, that are great landing spots, not just, you know, Oh, Hey, this is a good place to work. That would be a good, I kind of want to work there. I mean, there's, there's probably right now 10 phenomenal landing spots. If you're, you know, an up and coming women's wrestler or you're trying to make a name for yourself that really you wrestle those places and your your name is in the spotlight all over the country and in the world in some cases yeah and i think too intergender wrestling becoming a much bigger thing is giving more women opportunities to be seen in a different light and to just have more people to work with especially in california like there's no girls in southern california except for like the santino girls and like three other people you have to go up north for a couple more that's about right. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, you know, I've only done one inter- intergender match. Dev, I don't think you haven't done too many, right? Maybe one or two. I did like one or two. And I think it's fine. You know, there's some people, the traditionalists that maybe don't like it as much. Uh, and I can understand the argument, but I'm fine with doing a, a intergender match. And, and you know, it's, it's the same, it's the same as a big guy versus a little guy or any kind of situation. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I think that's the, the important thing is, if you come in and, and if, if it's 100% equal uh, on both sides, like strength wise and all that, I don't know, just make it look like, like it's a legit fight. Uh, right. Am I correct on that, Dev? <laughs> don't drag me into this. I don't know what no, to do with uh, my hands right now. I don't know what to no, do with I, my hands. I, 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 I like it because I like Mortal Kombat. Like, I like that aspect of it, right? You could have Sonya Blade go up against Goro in Mortal Kombat, or you could have Sonya Blade go up against, you know, Johnny Cage, whatever the case is. So I, I enjoy that aspect of it, and I think there's ways to make it cool. But it doesn't have to be that. I mean, there's comedy wrestling still with women and men going at it. It's, it's it, As long as it's entertaining, honestly. If it's entertaining, it gives a shit. Heather, what do you think? Whenever you go into a match and you got, like, uh, say that like you're working a Brian Cage as opposed to an Eli Everfly, what, uh, you know, is there is there a kind of a different mindset in your head going into those kind of matches? Yeah, especially, but you know, Eli just throws me around and punches me straight in the face. So it's fine. <laughs> I'm used to that. He was Hit my that. trainer. Hit that gong. Hit that gong no, I'm just kidding. Eli will slap me before Brian Cage does. Um, but <laughs> uh, no, I, I definitely go in with a different mindset uh, for those just the same way I go into it differently. If I'm wrestling Ruby, as opposed to like, if I'm wrestling Simone, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's how you wrestle anybody, but um I think uh, it also depends just in general who you're wrestling and how they want to portray themselves too in that situation, especially with guys. Um, I know there's guys that are super game to do whatever, like Joey, obviously Joey Ryan wrestled him a million times and he will do whatever. Like he doesn't care. Like he, he's just going to go out there and like you said, Devin, like inter- it's just about entertainment. It doesn't really matter. But um, there's like Tyler Bateman. If I wrestle Bateman, it's going to be a completely different match than that. But he's going to still want to make me look good, but in a way that makes sense to him and his style. And when I wrestled him, it was mostly him beating me down and me coming back and like showing heart and that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? It's way different than if I wrestle someone like Joey. 